can you talk a little bit um, about your role at, as Mark? And uh, I, I kind of see him as the voice of reason, like I said in your intro. But how, how do you see Mark? Um, I, I'm still stuck on this uh, this question of whether or not his name is pronounced Brennan Witz or Witch. <laughs> and that seems to be, I mean, that and like checking to see what Nick's hair is doing that day is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah, I, no, I think you're right. I mean, like, you know, there's got to be somebody who's in there not, you know, not totally insane. Um, <laughs> and, um, and yeah, I, th I mean, I think that's, you know, I, I really like the change. There was, there was a change that, that, that Mike and Greg um, employed, which was kind of turning him from sort of, a Lothario who's also kind of an ass to a Lothario who's a nicer guy, I guess. <laughs> and and I, I mean, I think that's actually more realistic because those kind of guys that I know are actually really nice guys who also, you know, get around. We didn't, we didn't, um, <laughs> we didn't actually know any in the beginning. <laughs> so this was completely theoretical for us what a Lothario would be like. So, <clears throat> luckily, Paul knew some. <laughs> Um, and f Aubrey, um, as April, um, you have taken disaffected to new heights or lows. I'm not sure which. <laughs> and I, I admire it every time I watch you on screen. And I was just wondering, is there any kind of method to that? Or does, does that come naturally? Um, yeah, I guess it comes naturally. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Can I say something? Uh, Allison Jones, who cast the show, was an amazing casting director, emailed Greg and me and said, I just met this girl. Her name is Aubrey Plaza. I think she's amazing. You've got to meet with her. And anything Allison do tells us to do, we do. So I said, absolutely, send her over. So she came in, and Greg was in a meeting. And Aubrey came in and sat in my office and made me feel uncomfortable <laughs> to a level that, I, like, as, a, as like a 32-year-old guy at the time, I, I shouldn't ever feel that socially awkward. But she was just, <laughs> just so, just like staring at me and just blankly, like, and I was like, I was like flop sweating. And I was like, I, was, I might as well have been tap dancing like Daffy Duck, just trying to like entertain her and just getting nothing. And she, and then Greg came in and had a similar experience and she left and we were just into it. Like, I don't know what the character is, but that girl's gonna get our show. I mean, <laughs> it's so, it just made me laugh so hard to think about how like, how, how unself-possessed I found myself when I was with her. I just felt like I had three arms and was like <laughs> knocking things over. So, you know, they, we essentially wrote the, in the original script, the part was, was called Aubrey. We just named it Aubrey because we knew we wanted to write it for her. And then we had to change it because we didn't want her to be too much associated with her character. But I don't know, maybe that's impossible, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> but uh, you, from the moment we met her, we knew that she, we wanted her to be in the show.